1970s, the population of sea urchins, of the species green sea urchins, or Strongylus entrotis trebachiensis, kind of exploded along the Norwegian coast. And following, uh, during the next uh, decade or so, um, they grazed down the kelp forest quite severely. In fact, we think that about 50% of the uh, kelp forest from mid-Norway up to the Russian border uh, has disappeared. So uh, uh, this is a top-down regulation of the whole ecological system along the coast. And, and mind you, the uh, productivity of uh, the kelp forest in Norway is uh, on par with tropical rainforest. It's a very important ecological system. And um, a system sustaining, amongst other things, the population of the coastal cod. Now once the, uh, once the uh, kelp forest has been grazed down, it's not going to be re-established because the uh, sea urchins, they can live in a barren for decades. They kind of turn off their metabolism or something, so they can live on the bacteria or an algae slime that grows on, on, uh, on rocks. And that is preventing the uh, kelp forest to, to re-establish itself. Therefore, we think that if we can create a profitable fishery for sea urchins, um, and, uh, and uh, through that reduce the population of, of sea urchins, we can help the kelp forest uh, to grow back with all the advantages that we have for the coastal ecological system. The problem is that once the uh, sea urchins have grazed down the kelp forest, um, they are starved and they do not develop the gonads and that's the valuable part of a sea urchin. So in Norway you have to catch the sea urchins you have to feed them for a certain uh, period of time so the uh, gonads can be uh, developed uh, from something like say 5% uh, uh, raw content to 20% raw content then the whole fishery can become profitable so to establish a fishery in Norway you need also to establish a, uh, a farming industry that can uh, be the market for the fishermen supplying this uh, industry this is what we are doing, and we are seeing our efforts in this particular ecological uh, perspective. So we think what we are doing is a good thing for the environment, it's sustainable, and it's going to create a, create a sustainable situation uh, for the coastal ecology in Norway.